All right, hello, welcome back. How's everyone doing? Uh, we are back in Minecraft once again. We're doing the 15-year uh, uh, anniversary celebration map that they made, um, which is really cool. Uh, let's go ahead into this game. We are in the adventure area, and uh, we just found the armor trims after finding some of the desert stuff as well. Um, let's go ahead and do Temple Dash. Temple Dash, dash through moss-covered corridors, avoiding traps whilst battling zombies and skeletons to find the wild armor smithing template. Golden, uh, collect golden apples along the way to keep your health up. Only the strongest will survive. All right, let's do it. This is my cup of tea. And in Bedrock, you don't have the uh, the, the combat updates like swing delay, which is really cool. At least I don't think, unless they added it into this. Defeat monsters and avoid traps. All right, let's go. Temple dash. Score points by defeating the zombies and skeletons. Okay. <clears throat> Trying to see if there's any secret stuff. Doesn't look like it though. Oh, we do have uh, a bow and arrow as well. Golden apples to keep our health up. I don't think we're allowed to go that way, but that's fine. Try to avoid these traps, obviously. Oh, I don't know how to, um... Alright, sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to... What is this? Golden apple collected. Oh. I guess that's the only way to restore health in this, right? Interesting. Uh, sorry, let's continue on. Is there anything hidden over here? I don't want to miss any hidden stuff. <laughs> uh, a little bit of parkour here, maybe? Anything over here to get? Or is it just we should fall? I think it's we should just fall. Alright, cool. Let's go down. Checkpoint reached, okay. Oh, ouch. I thought it would stop for a second, but it, it didn't, evidently. A little bit of parkour. No problem. Oh no, the zombie fell. Well, now how am I gonna get him? I want those points. Take your points, buddy. They're mine now. Ah, oh, shoot. Let's get back on this lily pad. I gotta redo the parkour now because he fell down, but it's okay. It's alright. We'll get it. No problem. No problemo. Anything higher we want to get to? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's continue on. Oh, another golden apple. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's arrows. Okay. Let's be careful. Oh, shoot. Got some arrows from that, so that's nice. Ouch, ouch. Alright, we gotta be careful of that one. It's a pretty cool animation, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, hello. You're gonna activate, aren't ya? Okay. Ouch. Well, how, how are you invincible? Hold on. There we go, we got him. Nice. Got some more arrows there from there as well. That's good. <laughs> Which way is the way we need to go? That's what I want to know. Didn't mean to run there. Ah! Wait for it to stop. Okay, there's just an extra golden apple, it looks like. Ouch. I shouldn't have crossed there, but it's, it's okay, it's fine. Ow! Ooh, another golden apple, nice. Oh, no more enemies, okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Is there anything over there? Ouch. Ouch. They don't really give you much time to dodge, but yeah. They do give you some, it's fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and eat another one, just for fun. Oh, whoops. Alright, that was easy. Also, I feel like my shield is useless, especially since I can't really raise it. I guess you- it says you can raise it when you- when you shift or whatever. When you crouch, but that seems not very useful. I want to be able to right click whenever I want. <laughs> you know? Alright. Wait for those to go. There we 
we go. Nice, another little map where we got a checkpoint as well. Nice. You know what, I'll go ahead and pop another one just for fun. Might as well. Here we go. Block that one at least. Ouch, didn't block that one quick enough though. That's okay. We'll be fine. Uh, is there anything over here? What's this? Nothing. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Alright, we're doing good in terms of score. I'm pretty sure we beat the the other two, Alex and... Oops. Alex and uh, Steve. Alright, nice. We also have a lot of arrows. We should probably use some of those, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Where are the enemies at? We'll use some arrows here. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that did not two shot him. My bad. Alright, nice. I do like the option for sure. That's good. Uh, what we got here? Any enemies gonna spawn? Or like, wake up or whatever? Uh, Alright, looks like this is it. Nice. Golden Apple to, to spare as well, nice. Temple Dash. That was pretty fun. Alright, let's head back to the beginning. Obviously we beat the other shoes, so that's great. Smithing Template retrieved. Oh yeah, there's the score. We, we smacked him around a little bit. Alright, cool. Golden Apple, nice. There we go. Alright, we're getting some good progress on these now. Um, all those are done. We just have one more to do actually, so cool. cool. Let's finish it off then. Um, is this the way? No, this is the way we came from, so it should be this way that we need to go then. Alright, let's let's continue on. What do we have here? Jungle biome, okay. <clears throat> oh, what's over here? It's a secret looking thing, honestly. That's what it looks like to me, at least. Uh, oh, got like a little temple or something. Yeah, jungle temple. Okay, where are we heading? Where are we heading? Got some god rays or something, a little bit of parkour. Okay, I think it was us to go down. <laughs> oh, hello. Steve, what you doing over there, bud? Aha, I found a sticker. This is the last one we need. <laughs> yeah, it is. Jungle Temple, nice, there we go. What's up, Steve, what are you doing? Oh, shoot, I missed. My bad. Alright, anyways, we got some ocelot, we got all the jungle stuff here, too. This is kind of cool. Uh, it's a jungle temple entrance looking thing. Some arrows in the wood, I like that. Alright, well this is really cool. Uh, what is down there? Probably a place we don't want to be. Alright, let's head on back to the start, looks like. Oh, we got some... Actually, no, this isn't the start. This is a new area, right? Oh wait, no, it is kind of a start. It's the opposite way, so we went that way first, and we wrapped all the way around. Okay, cool. Um, jungle Temple, so... Uh, wait, didn't we already... I don't remember if we read this or not, but let's do it again. Uh, the Jungle Temple lies nestled between the lush foliage and towering trees of the Jungle Biome. Added in 2012 in the 1.3 update, the Jungle Temple attracted the attention of advent adventurers and builders alike. Back in the day, co mossy cobblestone was a sparse resource. Oh yeah, super hard to find. Uh, thus, players searched far and wide looking for these moss-covered treasure uh, trove. Um, when 1.3 was first released, unsuspecting players looking to explore the jungle tr temple were greeted with the newly introduced tripwire hook connected to a redstone contraption hid between the vines, uh, sending an unwelcome surprise towards any explorer who didn't watch their step. Oh yeah. Looks like we got some... Oh, what is this? Why is there like a random button there, dude? We've got an interesting looking map. Looks like a drowned or something. But yeah, we got some pandas. Bamboo forest biome. Uh, the panda. Meet the cuddliest inhabitants of Minecraft's bamboo-laden landscapes, the adorable pandas. These roly-poly bundles of fur bring a whole new level of charm to the game with their playful antics and endearing waddles. Make sure to bring some bamboo. They're always hungry and, well and a well-fed panda is a happy panda. Did you know these pandas in Minecraft can actually sneeze? It's true. These fuzzy friends can occasionally let out a sneeze that send nearby, near sends nearby pandas flying. Talk about a powerful puff. That's crazy. Do they do that here more often? Or... Oh, is that a different colored panda? Or am I just crazy? 
Looks like it is. Uh, what we got in here? Find a wandering trader, okay. And his llamas. Here's the wandering trader. Trader. Uh, here's a llama. <laughs> and then we got one more that's probably going to be on the left side here. Yep, there he is. And found them all. Don't think that's going to give us anything, but hey, that's pretty cool. Alright, well that's going to be it for this little area. Uh, let's continue on to the next one. Like I said in the previous video, I'm going to finish that adventure area out. Uh, it did take a little bit of time, so that's, that's good we didn't make like a 50 minute video. Although, maybe you guys are interested in that, I don't know. Oh, we got some bird, some Allays gathering cake. That is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, there's a creeper. <laughs> what is all this? I love this. Look at the Allays, look, look, look at them go. Hello sir, you got, do you talk? No, you don't. Oh, we got a little baby. We got a little baby Enderman. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Baby creeper. Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing, by the way. I love this. This is so cool. I could spend a long time in this uh, in this world. I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh, they're bringing cake. They're just gonna eat it. Up. Yep, gonna eat it up. The one who trades is like, wait, no, you're not supposed to eat that. Ah, no more cake for you. <laughs> Sad. Oh, chomp. He exploded. I saw him. Let's, let's see if he does it again. He should probably. <laughs> Did he do the animation, or does he just, um... Oh, he's, he's gonna eat the cake? Oh, no, he's gonna explode it. Okay. Oh, okay. And he, like, respawns back or something. That's cool. Oh, my gosh. Is that a baby ghast? What? That is so cute. Oh, my gosh. And there's stuff in here everywhere. Summon baby zombie piglin. How do you do that? Um, what is this? Sticker book. Name tag. Oh yes, obviously. Oh, we can just get mi millions of them. Okay, cool. I love that. <laughs> oh, we can name name people or what or something or what? Summon baby zombie. Return baby mob. Oh my gosh, is he gonna follow us around now? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, we can make him sit too, just like the wolves. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Wait, I need more. So I'm gonna collect six more stickers to unlock. Okay, oh, okay, 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 I didn't realize it. Okay. You can only have two pets. Um, okay, I guess we'll get rid of this baby mob. We'll do a zombie baby picklin, maybe. Look at them, oh my gosh, this is so cute. <laughs> what the heck, all right, I definitely want the gas. And the creepy one will be pretty cool too, so let's get some more stickers, shall we? Well, they're just going to party with us, I think, so let's bring them along on our adventure next on this next one we go to. Uh, okay, so where did we start? We started over here. I guess we can name tag them, right? Probably. Uh, I don't know what to name them, but that sounds really awesome. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Our return baby mod thing we left, but that's fine. That's good. We'll move this back over here just in case. Okay, so we did those two already. Um, let's head on to the next area, shall we? Let's do it. What is back here? Oh, this is where the cakes come from, I guess. That is cool. How the door moves and everything, too. All right, caves and cliffs. Let's start this one. We probably won't be able to finish it, but um, there's a possibility. <laughs> and then we can just finish it in the next part if, uh, if we aren't able to finish this one. All right. Uh, y equals negative 64. Oh, that's interesting. You can look at it and it changes. 320 is the highest, I guess. And negative 64 is the lowest. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. That, that's pretty cool, though. I like that little animation or whatever. And our friends are coming with us. It's so cool. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, new world height and depth. So... Yes, the Caves and Cliffs update introduced a new height limit. Previously, the world was contained between Y levels 0 to 255. It is now Y levels negative 64 to 320, giving you even more room to, uh, for exploration exploration in every direction. Heck yeah, dude. Uh, what is this? We got like a little mining area or something. Let's go right, left to right as usual. Oh, we got two of them on either side. 
Okay, what is this? Um, candles on cake. A sweet surprise in the Cliffs and Caves update. Candles can now be placed on cakes. Oh, really? I didn't know that. That's cool. Allowing you to create a warm and cozy ambiance for um, <laughs> in-game celebrations. Happy birthday, Minecraft. That's cool. I didn't actually realize that. That's cool. I guess probably only one candle, right? But uh, what's through here, by the way? Um, oh, we go upstairs. Okay. Got a little glow squid painting there. What's this? New height limit. Yes, okay. Uh, here we see a mini model of the new height limit. On the left, the old Y level, uh, level 0 to 255 limit. And on the right, the new negative 64 to 320 limit. Now there's even more space for you to master your water bucket landings, giving you approximately 0 0.2 extra seconds to make it stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, there you go, I guess. <laughs> Obviously, it's it's a little more than that, but it's a uh, uh, you know replica, mini replica for its representation, as it says. Uh, I got some books here and stuff, an axolotl painting. That's cool. Uh, Fifteen year celebration. Oh my gosh! Wait. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Oh my gosh! Wait. Let me. There we go. <laughs> and then I can be the, the goat over here. Oh, let me get closer. There we go. Boom. And I'll be like, meh, meh. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm making a fool of myself. But yeah, this is really cool. Uh, all right. That's great for pictures for sure. Um, if only I knew how to take screenshots in this. Oh, hello. Take that free sticker. Don't mind if I do. Get my bat sticker. Um, guys, how you doing? All right. Um, what is this? Cheese caves, uh, roomy and cavernous passages. Cheese caves generate underground, creating vast pockets resembling a cheese with many holes. Oh, okay. And then this is spaghetti caves, twisting tunnels and snaking passageways. Spaghetti caves generate underground, covering large distances with their winding tunnels. And then <laughs> noodle caves navigate narrow passages in an underground web. Uh, noodle caves generate underground, creating a complex net of interlocking tunnels. Okay, got it. That's what those are called, if you didn't know. <laughs> uh, that's a cool little thing as well for Anderson the Crafting Table and a Torch. I like the painting. All right, that's pretty much up it up here, it looks like. So let's head back straight down. Uh, this should pop us on the other side. Yep. All right, cool. Uh, we, have, we got glow squid here. Glowing accent, okay. Not only do glow squids light up the ocean, but they also bring radiance to signs and item frames, adding a touch of luminescence to your creations. Use a glow ink sack to give your signs a glow up. Yep, that is really cool. I do. I do like that as well. I like that. Uh, that's off limits. We can't go in there, right? No, yeah. Okay, just checking. Um, all right, what else we got in here? Oh, this is cool. Look at this. That is so cool. I love that. That is awesome, okay. Oh my gosh. This is so cool too. Oh no! <laughs> Turned into a skeleton for a second. <laughs> Dang. That's cool though. Uh, let's see, lightning rods. Take control of the elements and protect your creations from thunderstorms with a trusty lightning rod. Disclaimer, no steels were harmed during the making of this set. Yeah, well it looks like he was, buddy, but I'll take your word for it. Um, we got some goats and stuff, it looks like. Oh, it's a game in there as well, okay. We got some horns. They're kinda cool. The big horns as well. Uh, goats. Goats are the playful mountaineers of Minecraft's peaks. Uh, known for their unexpected headbutts. Just remember, if you hear a sudden bye, it might be wise to watch your back. Yeah, fair. Nice little painting there. We got, um, powdered snow. Powdered snow is a chilly trap for the unwary. Use your snowproof leather boots to safely traverse across the surface. Step carefully or you'll be part of the next icy exhibit. Clearly someone forgot to gear up. Oh, you can use leather boots to walk on powdered snow? I didn't know that. Okay. I didn't know that. I thought you it was just like a terrible addition to Minecraft where they did that. Okay, that's cool. Pa uh, leather boots. Okay. That's what we need to get next time we have a an icy pl or a snowy place. I will move uh, past that message a lot. Okay. Looks like we got a person to talk to as well. Let's see what this is first. Uh, deep Slate. Caves and Cliffs added many new stones to the game, including Deep Slate. Starting at Y level 8, Deep Slate, deep slate will spawn instead of stone. While stone only takes uh, 0 0.6 seconds to bind with a stone pickaxe, Deep Slate takes 
twice the amount of time. Make sure to upgrade your tools before venturing too far down. Yeah, it's really annoying too. Uh, Ari, I remember the the days when stone was just stone. Look at these new stone blocks. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's actually really annoying. <laughs> I don't like the deep slate, slate but it's an uh, interesting idea, I guess, at least. <laughs> but yeah, I think it should be removed, probably. Or only be in small areas, not just everywhere. Uh, let's do this game real fast. Mountains. In mountain biomes, you'll find snowy peaks, goats, and emeralds. It's a balancing act of gem hunting and goat dodging. Watch your step. Alright, uh, quickest with 4610. What is this? Cave of parkour. Okay. Burr, I'm not used to all this cold. Watch out for slippery ice and spit, sprint your way to victory through different cave biomes to set the fastest time. Get ready, set, go. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Limber up. Starting positions. Alright, jump through the cave uh, biomes to complete the parkour. Okay. Assuming this is where it wants us to go. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Stop. Oh, no. Wait, I'm, I'm bad. Okay. No, we're good. We're fine. I just got knocked up for a second. Or, like, messed up for a second there. They're okay. Got some ice. That'll boost our jump a little bit as well, actually. I think we're going to mess this up, though, because we're not going to beat that 46 second time, I don't think. Not with how slow we went through that powdered area. I guess there's some areas we can speed up. Oh wait, no, we did it. What? Let's go. What the heck? Cave okay, parkour, nice. Collected sticker okay. goat. Cool. Sit. <laughs> That's so cute. I like the party hats as well. It's great. Uh, okay, nice. Didn't mean to do that create at the first stat try, but I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, what we got here? Uh, lush caves where glowberries illuminate your path. I love those. And adorable axolotls swim by the lush. Uh, swim by the lush caves are a must visit for any adventurer. Here you can harvest berries for food and light, and if you're lucky, befriend an adorable axolotl. <laughs> oh, there's a creeper over there. No. All right, what's this? Um, monster spawners. A rare delight to the avid cave explorer. The monster spawners. Uh, monsters spawn when you are within 16 blocks of the spawner, appearing in a 9 by 3 by 9 area around it. Placing a single torch will disable the spawner. Oh, well, only one now, yeah. I remember back in the day you had to place a bunch, but and they like light up the whole area. But now you can you only have to do one torch, so that's that's always great. I love that actually. It updated the the texture a little bit as well sometimes. All right, uh, <laughs> hidden creeper on the painting. Bats. This friendly critter will add a touch of mystery to your underground explorations. Bat use their, uh, bats use their echolocation to detect players approaching them, even when invisible. Startle them and they will fly away. Indeed. Uh, what is this? Drip leaves. Each step tests your skill in the Lush Caves biome. Tread lightly or you'll take an unexpected dip. Drip leaves will only support your weight for one second when stood on. Oh yeah, I remember that, yeah. Kind of interesting, right? All right, um, let's continue on. I think we'll actually go ahead and finish this out in the next part. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will catch you guys in that one. All right, peace, guys.